It starts as a trickle. A cascade. A stream. And it grows into this. All over the world, rivers have defined and sustained human civilizations for thousands of years. They bring life to the land. In this video, we're going to follow some of the world's most important rivers to see the impacts they have on the people and the landscape. Our journey begins, like the journeys of many rivers, up in the mountains. Here, on the eastern side of the Tibetan Plateau, lies the source of the Yangtze, the longest river in all of Asia. Fed by meltwater from the Himalayan glaciers, the Yangtze winds its way eastward through China. As it goes, it slowly carves its channel deeper into the surrounding bedrock. Erosion by the water over millions of years created this stunning view in the Three Gorges area. The Chinese have been exploring the Three Gorges for at least 27,000 years. Today, it's a tourist hotspot with spectacular scenery, ancient temples, boat cruises and riverside restaurants such as this one. As the Yangtze flows on and on, it leaves the mountains far behind. Sheer cliffs give way to gentle valleys where larger cities have been constructed. All the way over on the east coast of China, this river finally meets the sea near Shanghai, the busiest container port on Earth. Its location at the meeting of the Yangtze River and the East China Sea has allowed Shanghai to grow into an unparalleled hub for trade. Goods pass through the city from upstream parts of China and from overseas. In fact, its success as a trade centre has made Shanghai the most populous city proper in the world, with over 24 million inhabitants. The influence of some rivers is so obvious it could be seen from space. The strip of green in this satellite image marks the course of the Nile in Africa. It flows northward from Lake Victoria, passing through 11 different countries and eventually entering the Mediterranean Sea at the coast of Egypt. The Nile brings to life what would otherwise be a barren desert. Ancient Egyptians depended on its floodwaters for the nutrient-rich silt they needed to grow their crops. They also used papyrus and wood grown on the riverbanks to build their clothing, tools and boats. These days, technology may be moving on, but the people who live by the Nile still depend on it for their livelihoods. In the north, the river spreads out into a magnificent triangle of greenery called a delta. It is here that Cairo, the bustling capital of Egypt, is located. Experts don't quite agree which is the world's longest river, the Nile or its South American counterpart, the Amazon. In both cases, there is some dispute about where exactly the river sources are, and therefore how long each river is. What is certain is that the Amazon too has been vital to the development of human civilizations. It stretches across most of South America's width, surrounded by lush tropical rainforest. It is also gigantic, 20% of all the water discharged into the ocean by rivers comes from the Amazon. Some parts of this river are so wide they even look like endless ocean. Cruise ships regularly sail along it, bringing tourists to see the wonders of the jungle. Several cities have been built right on the banks of the Amazon. The largest of them is Manaus in Brazil, where two million people live and work. Access to Manaus is only by boat or plane. It is otherwise isolated from the rest of the world. It's also one of the few places where you can make a living from piranha fishing. Whether the journey spans thousands of kilometres or just a dozen, all rivers on Earth end up in the ocean. This is where our journey must also end, for now. Thank you for watching Rivers of the World.